Today I'll show you how to make an excellent 100% whole grain einkorn loaf. It's so good. Hi, I'm Soon and I'm a food geek. So I showed you how to bake a freestanding einkorn sourdough bread last week and that tasted really good, but why not go all the way and make a loaf of bread with only einkorn flour? So that's what I did. So the recipe that I'm showing you today uses 100% whole grain einkorn flour, the coarse kind. I've set the hydration at 75%, so that should accommodate most einkorn flours, but use the video as a guide for the consistency that you need to achieve. The inoculation is lower than the usual 20%, so it can have a longer fermentation. It's also retarded in the fridge to promote even more flavor development. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the super thanks or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the recipe. There's a link in the description to the recipe on my website. To a medium bowl, add 750 grams of whole grain einkorn flour, 15 grams of salt. Mix it. Then add 100 grams of sourdough starter, fed and grown to its peak. And 155 grams of water. Note that the amount of water depends on your flour's absorption, so if you don't know the flour, start with less water and refer to the video for what kind of consistency you will need. Mix it until all of the flour is hydrated. Then cover it and leave it for an hour for the gluten to develop. Then it's time to shape the dough. Flour your counter. Take the dough out of the bowl and put it on top of the flour. Add some more flour on top of the dough and as much as needed to be able to shape it comfortably. Press the dough out into a large oval. Fold the sides in. Roll the dough up tightly. Shape it so it will fit your pan. This dough is made to fit a 23 by 10 centimeter, 9 by 4 inches Pullman pan. Spray the pan with baking spray. Move the dough to the pan. And cover it with cling film. Put it somewhere warm to rise from about 50 to 75%. I put it on my proofer set to 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's finished growing, I put it in the fridge to develop the taste from 8 hours up to 48 hours. If you want to bake immediately, let it ferment for an hour more while heating the oven. When you're ready to bake, heat your oven to 230 degrees Celsius, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. The pan for steaming at the bottom. Once the oven's hot, boil a kettle of water and then grab your loaf pan. Spray the top of the loaf with water and dust it with einkorn flour. 
Put the pan in the oven. Pour boiling water into the pan. And lower the temperature to 210 degrees Celsius, 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake for 20 minutes. Then remove the steaming pan from the oven. Bake for 25 minutes more. Then take the bread out of the pan and let it brown for five minutes. Take the bread out of the oven and let it cool on a wire rack. Once the bread is cooled down, put it in a Ziploc bag to soften the crust. All right, let me show you this delicious bread. So that's a special loaf. In many ways, the texture reminds me of a rye bread with no seeds. The flavor though is different. It tastes nothing like rye. It has a beautiful, dark, rich wheat taste and fantastic toasted and nutty notes. There are no bitter notes uh, like you'd often associate with whole grain wheat bread. It's pretty dense though. You should you eat this bread in very thin slices, but since it's so full of nutrition, it's quite filling. You might not need many pieces. Please like, share and subscribe, it really helps the channel. I hope you learned something today. See you next time. Oh.